Chef Buck here, and today we're gonna cook up some ribs. We're gonna cook up some baby back ribs in the oven. This is how I love to cook ribs. They're gonna taste fantastic if you cook like this, and it's gonna be the best option for you money-wise, because I'm a cheapskate. Like this here's like three pounds of ribs, and I paid about eight dollars for this rack of baby back ribs. And you can't, you know, if you was to order these ribs out at a restaurant, what is this gonna cost you? Boom, boom, boom. Probably close to thirty dollars, depending on where you're eating at. But for eight dollars. These are going to taste fantastic. But what you want to do is you want to have your ribs out for about 15 minutes, 20 minutes. You know, take them out of the fridge and let them uh, get the room temperature. You don't want to throw them right in the oven out of the fridge. And also, with your baby back ribs, you want to turn it to the bone side down. And you see there's some skin along the edge of your bones right here. And this is a silver skin. And we want to pull this up. So you're going to want to cut it away from your meat on one end. But you want to get one end kind of separate and pull it up. Oops, that didn't work out. But that's okay, that's life. Sometimes life doesn't work out. <laughs> try, you just, try You again. just got to keep working at it. Yeah. So let me see if I can get up under here. Try to get me a piece I can work with. So I'm getting under it. Oh, I got a good feeling this time. There you go. See, now I'm pulling up this skin and this sheet. It's almost like plasticky. This is like nature's duct tape stuck to the back of these ribs. Nature's duct tape. But if you tape. pull off this piece of silver skin, it's going to make your ribs a lot more pleasant to eat. And when you buy it at your grocer's meat market, there's, there's not much you have to do to prep it other than take off that piece of silver skin in the back. So now we're going to go ahead and mix up a rub for it because we want to have a lot of flavor for these ribs. We're going to put some barbecue sauce on it later. But right now we just got a little bit of rub. And you can put whatever kind of uh, spices and seasonings you want for your rub. I've got a whole mishmash here. I got some uh, chili powder, uh, salt, some garlic powder, some onion powder. I got some paprika. I'll have some spices uh, written down in the recipe. You can go to myfoodchannel.com and I'll have the uh, whole recipe written out there. You can go over there and print it out and check it out. Look for some tips and tricks. But you know, there is no wrong seasoning mix to put in here. Just get a bunch of seasoning and mix it together. Or buy yourself a pre-made rub. And then we're just gonna go ahead and generously coat our ribs with seasoning. Massage it in there. Boom, boom, boom. And do both sides. Cause you're not just gonna eat one side of the rib. You're gonna eat the rib all the way around the bone, the top and the bottom. So season the top and the bottom. That's rib science. Rib science. Man, the seasoning smells so good. I didn't do anything to these ribs other than pat them dry with a paper towel and uh, take off that piece of silver skin. Look at that there. That's a big hunk of chunk of meat. Eight dollars. Eight dollars. Now once our ribs are all seasoned up, now we're going to wrap them up tightly in some aluminium foil. <laughs> and I'm using heavy duty foil. Use the heaviest foil you can. Boom, and I'm going to need a couple pieces. So, the bone side is going to go up, so I want to, I don't know, there's no wrong way to do this, but I like to put this piece on the bone side first, and wrap it around tightly. And you want to lose heavy duty aluminum foil if you can, because sometimes the bones will poke through if your foil is too light, and that's frustrating. Wrap it tight on one side and fold it in. Get it all nice and tight, and then we'll take this other piece and do the exact same thing. Flip it over. So you want to get it sealed nice and tight so it's going to hold the juices and the heat in here. And we're going to slow cook it. We've got the meat side down, the bone side up, and I've got my oven preheated at 250 degrees because we're going to cook this low and slow. We're going to slide it in the oven and let it bake away, roast away for two and a half hours. I know it's a long time, but the turtle wins the race. What? I don't know. <laughs> it takes a while to cook good ribs. Beep, 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 beep. Alrighty. So it has been in the oven for two and a half hours. We got a little leakage right there from our aluminum foil, but that's a common problem. Especially when you get older. Hey. So this is the first part of the cooking process. You want to be super duper careful. Now we are going to cook them. Come up here, camera girl. So I've had the temperature at 250, and now I'm going to raise it up to 350. We're going to get some of this juice and pour it out of here. 
So now we're going to cook our ribs on a rack. Right. Boom, boom, boom. And you can do that as gracefully or ungracefully as you like. So now we are going to barbecue up our ribs. And just like the seasoning, we're going to put barbecue sauce on both sides. But we'll put them on the bone side first. And if you've got a brush, you know, that's a little easier. But I don't have a brush, so I'm going to have to gracefully use my fingers. That are clean. Well, you know, they're kind of clean. So we're putting barbecue sauce all along the bottom. And then we're going to flip it so that the bone side is down. And then we're going to apply some barbecue sauce to the top. Use whatever kind of barbecue sauce you like. Make you some homemade barbecue sauce, now, which isn't hard to do. You can do it with some uh, tomato paste and vinegar and, and mustard and sugar. But you know, I don't, I don't like a sweet uh, barbecue sauce. Whoa! That's picture perfect already. All right, so we've got the bottom sauced up, the top sauced up. Our oven's at 350 now. We're gonna let it cook for 15 more minutes. Then we're gonna sauce it up one final time. Beep, 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 beep. So it has been 15 minutes. Boom, boom, boom. Now we're gonna go ahead and put one more layer of barbecue sauce on here. Now we went ahead and we sauced up the bottom bone side before. And uh, this time we're just gonna do the top so we don't have to flip the ribs anymore. We're done turning them over. Tender, tender are the ribs. So we've been very generous with our sauce. Got it all over the top, all around the edges. And I wish I had a brush, but you know, you just gotta make do. All righty, there you have it. We just sauced the top. We're gonna slide it in the oven, still at 350 degrees. Let it cook away for another 15 minutes. The final 15 minutes. The very final exciting. countdown. There you have it. <laughs> Alrighty, so it has been 15 more minutes. It's finito. Big old rack of ribs. Takes time, but it's worth it. Ma'am. Oh. Mm -mm. Super duper tender. Lip smacking good. Yeah. Comes right off the bone. You got some pretty clean bones, camera girl. Mm-hmm. These are delicious. Go to myfoodchannel.com. You can print all our recipes there. I'll have it down below if you want to take a peek at it. Subscribe. Hit the bell notification. Ding! Uh, whatever that does. And uh, we appreciate all the kind comments. And we'll see you in the future. Bye-bye.